so in this video what I want to talk about is how a very basic pressure relief valve works. And so what I've done is I have pressure running to a pressure gauge. From the pressure gauge, I'm going uh, into a T that allows me to go into the pressure relief valve. And then from here, I'm gonna go back to tank. So I'm gonna zoom in on the pressure relief valve so you can see how it operates. All right. So you can see here that the minimum this is set up to run is three bars, okay? And as I start to twist this down, okay, and I start to adjust it, the pressure starts to rise. So now I'm at four PSI. Okay, and you can see as this turn, what's happening is this spring is compressing inside of here. So as I keep turning it, the pressure gets higher because the pump has to supply enough pressure to overcome the load here, okay? And so the load is dictating, the spring compressing, that we need, at this point, five bars to get create flow. So now I'm up to six, and I can keep going to seven, to eight, and all of this is based off how much I'm compressing that spring, because the more you compress the spring, the more pressure it creates. This is the perfect example of fluid pressure being compared to spring pressure. I hope this video helps you to understand what's going on inside of a pressure relief valve and how the spring is being compared to fluid pressure. So spring pressure versus fluid pressure. And this sets the max pressure in your system. And again, this is just the most basic or pressure relief valve that you can have. Thanks for watching.